forecast ahead. This is the stretch where we're looking at the day to day parade forecast for the next week. And we are first of all today looking at windy conditions. We have these south winds coming in at 20 to 25 miles per hour gusting to near 35 or even near 40. Like I was pointing out earlier, we officially have a wind advisory for the purple areas until 6 PM when winds will go down a little bit, but staying pretty breezy. I think into tonight here are those sustained winds in white and the gusts showing up in the yellow numbers. So temperatures also warming up. We have this souther southerly flow bringing in that warmer moist air from the south. We're feeling a little more humid. Our temperatures in the 70s and we've certainly seen clouds increase pretty fast today. So we're now looking mostly cloudy and we'll have some breaks of sun, I think, but we do have more cloud cover in the area. Now this looks like a system that's about to just barge into our area, but we're actually going to have to wait on this all the way through tomorrow and into Thursday to really get this moving through with an upper level push with that cold front. So today just a slight chance for a shower warm and windy with those clouds already increasing and temperatures topping out likely around 75. I hope you enjoy your Valentine's Day weather overall fine. If you don't mind a few clouds breezy through the afternoon with winds, as I said, calming down a little bit more to maybe 10 to 18 miles per hour tonight, mainly from the south and temperatures hovering in the upper 60s to about 70. Overnight, our temperatures may drop into the middle 60s north and south of the lake, and we'll have to watch for some patchy fog similar to what we had early this morning. So something to think about for the early commute tomorrow. Looking ahead to Thursday, we do have a risk of a few severe storms for the New Orleans area and south of the lake where the parades will be happening. It does look like it'll be that lowest one out of five level risk for severe storms with a little higher chance for a couple of strong storms farther to the north of Lake Pontchartrain and really into Mississippi and Alabama too. We'll be watching for the usuals high wind gusts and perhaps an isolated tornado. Now let me give you a look at precision cast. We're fast forwarding through this evening. Again, a stray shower possible with that cloud cover there and not super cool through tonight. This is by tomorrow. We have a chance for a couple of showers again. It's still a warm day with temperatures taking off to near 80. Now we're at Thursday. Notice your Wednesday night parades were looking fine. This is Thursday morning. This is what everyone wants to see. I think getting into Thursday midday. Here's some scattered showers and a couple of storms. This could be about 6 630 storms at least in the area. This is the parade time and then by 9 and 10 PM. You can see our model does have some rain as that front passes through by about 9 PM cools us off and dries us out for Friday. So here we have our forecast for Wednesday night parades. Temperatures upper 60s to about 70. Only a slight chance for a shower looking pretty good tomorrow night. This is the Thursday planner and note that the further through the evening we progress the lower the rain chance as it does seem like we'll have a few showers maybe as that front moves in and out. We will have to watch that threat for a couple of strong storms, so that could be a concern perhaps more toward the afternoon and early evening. And then we're drying out and look at this drop off in temperatures. Once that cold air comes in, it looks like it'll be a pretty quick fall after about 9 or 10 PM. This is our weekend parade outlook cold and breezy for Friday night. Just bundle up and I think you'll be fine, but we'll feel like 40 or so. Saturday cool and sunny in the 50s and then for Sunday we're looking at 60s and both days will be dropping in temperatures just by a few degrees through the evenings for those big Endemian and Bacchus nights. Monday Lundi Gras looking good and as I said Tuesday just a slight chance for a shower on Fat Tuesday with high temperatures likely close to 80 this year.